Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back into my channel. My name is Creepers. For those who don't know, I am a currently Paladins YouTuber mostly, but I do other things. But today we're actually going to be here talking about Realm Royale. For those who don't know what Realm Royale is, this is a game that they decided to create with its own unique, um, you know, its own unique program. Uh, games, servers, and so on, whatever you want to call it. It's completely separated from Paladins, not like they initially ten intended to because they did create the Battlegrounds. And this game actually came to um, somehow replace Battlegrounds. Okay, they created this one. It's a little bit different. It's the same map, though. It has uh, most of the things that uh, the other one has, like weapons and so on. But the thing is, the, the other one, people, you would choose a champion and the weapon of that champion would be. But uh, in this game, you find different weapons and you play with them. And that's about it. So today, I'm here to explain what this game is, how to play it, how to download it, and etc. The first thing that you guys are probably wondering, how do I download this game so I can play it? Well, initially, uh, right as of right now, it is in alpha test, so it uh, it is like like a PDS. This is not the final version at all. So if any bugs are found or if anything you think that it's unbalanced, it's going to be changed in the future. You just have to report it. There's places for that. Do not worry. Now. First thing that I want to talk about, if you want to download this game, go into the first link that I have in the description. It's going to be taking you guys into a forum where they're talking about Realm Royale and there's a download link there. Usually you will need a key to enter to become an alpha tester. Now, and you can win this in several different ways. In that same post, I believe they're explaining you guys how you get alpha keys. Um, you can also go into Twitter and follow uh, Chris usually tends to put links and also explaining how you guys can get them or you can go into the discord of Riam Real and Wait for giveaways or even for the links they put so you can just put your email and you receive a key and then you become an alpha tester Basically, I also want to get let you guys know that uh, This has three different modes, but they're constantly, you know, they're, they're just constantly um, Changing it for now so we can test both uh, all the three of them for now and as of right now, there's actually two available, which is solo and quads, but there's also duos, uh, which I did play yesterday, but today we have solos and quads. I'm going to be doing the solo so I can show you guys really fast how this works, uh, explain to you guys the menu, armors, weapons, and etc. that there are in this game so you can understand how to play it. Even if you are someone who knows the game and plays it, uh, there may be some things on this video that you may not know. I'm going to be playing, and at the same time, Unfortunately, somebody's actually asking me here for an invite, and I cannot. Um, um, as I was saying, I'm going to explain everything that I'm going to be doing, all about forges, armors, potions, abilities, arm, uh, weapons, and etc. And I'm going to be cutting it up for all of the things that you guys need to learn. So I'm going to hop up in the game, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Also, I for almost forgot to mention, I was saying that this is on North America only for now. You're probably gonna need a good internet for it. Just, I'm just, I'm just advising you guys get a good internet. Or if you don't have a good internet and you don't want to suffer huge amount of lags, don't try it for now. Wait for it at Europe or etc. Server, depending on your area. If you're in North America, this is actually good. I'm on Europe myself, but I have a good internet, so that's actually good for me. I'm gonna search a game and I'll talk to you guys in a few seconds. So we found a match. Uh, this is the loading screen for now. And you are going to start here on one of these four little islands, as you can see. One, two, three, four. And after the time, as you can see, the time is around here. Let me just take the map off. And there it is. Prepare for deployment. One, meta and something. Uh, you can notice that all the champions are for now the same because this is to test and they're obviously going to add new skins and characters and etc. Uh, you start off with this knife, as you can see. I cannot attack here. Uh, the menu for watching your your abilities and your weapons are in the Y button and then you can also switch the weapons from places and this is the abilities you can switch them depending on the key that you are using. Uh, you have a compass on the top and on the right side you have a little mini map which you can pop it up um, with a tab. You can also sprint with shift. This is only available on PC for now. Also, as you can see on the left side, 
on top the blue bar that's my life that's my name on top and the four little uh little squares you're seeing that's for my weapons and abilities now first thing we want to notice is that there's a circle this circle is the fog this is the first circle where it's going to close this time it actually pretty much gets most of the map uh, I want to go a little bit in the middle, but this is just my preference. doesn't really mean anything. I don't like much of this place here. I'll probably try to go over here. So you press right click and you can put there. As you see, that, see that light? That's so you can notice better where the mark is. So we're going to go there. You see people going down. Uh, if we're lucky enough, uh, they will not follow us or they will not go into the same place. We already have somebody going there. You just press space to to land, of course, and Z to mount a horse. So I'm going to mount a horse and try to get there faster than these guys try to get a weapon first. Z to mount the horse. Now I can see below on the right side, we have some new stuff, actually. This is the first, first time actually playing on this new update, but I'm, I still know what it is. So these two are abilities. And... We already have here somebody trying to kill me. This is not going to be easy. I put it to turret. The fog sets in. I'm going to try to run a here from this guy. This, I'm actually doing damage to him. And he didn't notice where I'm going to. Okay, so this has been looted. Every time you go indoors, the horse actually goes away. Uh, as you can also see, I have the Mave knife. And if you can hear this, this is a zeppelin. He's gonna drop out that chest. We're gonna try to catch him because usually there's epic, uh, epic stuff in it, like a weapon, etc. So we're gonna try to get it. We wanna be careful here. He's gonna drop it about right now. There it is. It also shows in the minimaps for everybody to see, as you can see right there, right next to the forge. We're gonna try to get there before anybody else. So press E to in search. There's the weapon. It's actually a rocket launcher. Really good. If you wanna switch this for one of the weapons you have, you. You press E, and it's if you can look below, on top of the weapons, there's a 1 and a 2. So that's asking you which one you want to switch. So you press the 1 if you want it in the 1, and etc. Oh, now we actually dropped the repair quit kits. This is actually pretty good. Repair quits the kits are to repair your armor. As of right now, I don't have armor, I believe. If you can see on the left side, there's like sort of like a puppet, like a... A doll figurine that doll represents the armor that you have and the different armor so this is a helmet and as soon as I equip it you're gonna see that the head of that puppet you just look into the left corner on top of my health and that little shield saying zero on top there's like a puppet as soon as I equip this there it goes it has a head and now we have armor now I want this instead of this pip launcher and we're gonna disengage with the X uh, and disengaging gives you charts and those little charts are represented on if you look into my health below left corner on the end there's like a little chicken leg and there's like little a little yellow item this one is better than the one I have because it's green as you can see the one I have it's normal so it doesn't even glow so I'm gonna destroy that to get the charts the charts are very helpful so you can go into the forge and actually forge items see this little icon this is a forge uh, as you can see on the right side as well there's like a potion that is for a heal potion and you also have the hammer we're gonna sprint using the shift mount a horse on z find a other this is better than the one i have the helmet that i have so i'm gonna switch it up and destroy the other one destroy this one I don't want the Sword of Zen because it doesn't actually work like in Paladin's game. It actually is uh, like uh, just a melee weapon. Now, for this chest, usually this always gives you a weapon, but I don't want it. I don't want this weapon for now. I already have this helmet. I don't have go gloves, so I'm gonna equip those gloves. Oh, okay. Now we're on the fog, as you can see. We are losing our armor first. Now I'm gonna mount try to get out of here. This is actually really fast, the fog, so you have to mount in order to survive. Get out of here. As you can see, this is a circle that it's moving to, and this is the line of the closest path in order to get there. A little trick, if a forge is being used, usually on top of, of the building of where the forge is, there's smoke coming out of it. We're going to try to find one that is being used 
And also I want to use the healing potion, which is the number six. Now we are already in, inside of the circle. We're going to search for these things. And I'm also going to be repairing. Yeah, they probably messed up, unfortunately. Uh, these abilities, as you just saw, there was a sensor drone and also the invisibility from Grok, where you become immune. We're going to destroy these little things for charts. And now we're going to heal up really fast. Another healing kit. This is actually pretty good. So I'm going to press the number six and heal. So we healed. Now I'm going to press the number five and recover my armor. Because the fog destroys the armor first. It's not like in Fortnite where you lose only your health. Now, somebody's been here, as you can see, but they didn't disengage this. They probably already had maximum um, charge, which is 200. As you can see on top, on, on in front of the four little icons that I have, I have saying 150. Another thing I don't know, I do not want. I'm going to mount. There's also a cooldown on mount so you don't spam it. The fog is really close to get here. Oh no, probably already closed, and this is the next circle. And there it goes, 9 seconds and it's gonna start closing. We're already inside of the circle, so not too bad. Uh, I'm going to try to go into a forge to try to show you guys how it works. This is going to be really hard, there's only 14 people left. You can see on, on the left of the minimap, if you look into the top right corner, there's a minimap, and on the is left, um, there's actually a number saying 13 right now as uh, as i'm actually speaking and also letting us know how long have we been into a match that little icon with uh exclamation point that's uh telling you that um, the fog is coming and as long as the fog is you know progressing it is going forward it's going to fill there's somebody over there in the end as you can see i'm going to try to flank them and kill them if possible so I'm going to be careful here because he went inside, I noticed through the window. We may die. Okay, okay. So what I'm going to do here, try to run away from him, is I'm going to run, I'm going to hide, and I'm going to heal. So healing in six. Now we're going to try to find him. We do have an epic weapon. You can switch your weapon by pressing 1 and 2. And now we are turned into a chicken. There we go. So this is what happens when you die. You become a chicken. Uh, the chicken can actually be revived uh, after 30 seconds. So if you are turned into a chicken, do not despair. You can still have a chance as long as you keep hiding with the chicken. Um, I believe that if you're playing quads or duos, your teammates can actually help you revive faster, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if they remove that feature. If not, you have to wait until 30 seconds. Usually you can only do this a, number, a total number of three times. You can only be turned into a chicken and get revived a number of two, three times. And after you die, it lets you know here how many people you, you killed, your rank, and also who killed you. So we're going to return home, and I'm going to try to search for a second game. In case there's something that I missed, like the forge, and we're going to try to show to you guys how it works. I could go into quads, but basically all you need to know is that um, in quads you get around with three more people. It can be random people, or you can actually just invite people from your friends list and join them up and do a party up to four people. If not, you can just do up to two or three, and either it fills or you just go with the number of players you have on your team. Um, and pretty much you should always use your microphone. Uh, as of right now, the, so as you saw, uh, I just found a match, but as of right now to use a microphone, you press the T, but I actually removed it and put it on my alt, which was the one who was previous. I think that now they actually added the function where you can move around the camera while just walking or going on top of the horse and etc. So you don't have to do sort of the combination of keys and mouse that I, like I was doing. But since I'm already used to it, I really don't need it. Okay. So as you guys just saw, I uh, pressed an E and I wanted these both little slots to be used and now they have their creation time here with 
a little icon so I can see. And now we're going to go outside just try to see if there's smoke coming out. And you can see smoke coming out. So it means that force is being used so anybody else can see it. Now the time is finished. This is the healing potion. That pretty much looks like a repair potion. So just take attention to the name. And now I have a t a healing potions and repair potions. This, this weapon is a, t a weapon for Tyra. And I can show you that it's... It's not a full auto, it's a semi-auto uh, weapon, so you may want to have like a burst rifle, uh, like a full auto uh, rifle, that's what I was trying to say, and, um, and, and or a sniper or a shotgun or a high burst, you know, high damage burst rifle. Now, Blink is very good, but I usually don't use it. I don't like this. The most abilities that I like to use is always the jump from the buck, as you can see it's on my number four slot, and the healing potion so I can heal myself. Like right now I'm gonna heal, there we go. Now, uh, I could either take my sniper, or the sniper, or the Cassie bow, which are both long range, but I'd rather have the Cassie bow because it's faster and easier to use. Uh, the sniper for Strix actually is a one shot reload, one shot reload, and so it's really hard. Uh, just want to see these chests really fast. So you have the oppressive mines, the weapon from Victor, as you can see. Again, the weapon for Tara. Those chests are different because they are weapon chests, but they still can come out on those chests. Doesn't really matter uh, which type of chest it is. We just oh, we just use it. The forge. This is another weapon chest. I don't want that because I have a LMG that has 60 shots. I better have that. Also, do pay attention that on the right side, above my weapons and abilities and some and etc. You uh, right, just like that, you can see who killed who if somebody's just killed in the map. It will tell you. Also, do pay attention that I already have uh, a nugget, and you can see it on the end of my um, my health bar, which is on the left corner below. The blue bar, you know, that's my la my health. I have full health, one thousand two hundred. Uh, some items can actually have extras that allow you to heal over time or extra armor or etc. Uh, and most of them are usually on the forge, but you can also find some very good stuff on some chests. Also, do remember that when you kill somebody, the items go down and you can choose to equip them or destroy them all. Just get the shards. Getting max shards is never a bad thing. It's always very good. Now, as soon as you try to enter indoors, the horse goes away. So just shift inside. This uh is better than the lmg so i may want to take it but it's still um and it's not a full auto so maybe not i'll destroy it it gives you extra charge because it has more rarity by the way in case you didn't notice uh as of right now as you can see the ammo below the weapons like it's gray so it means the weapons are completely normal where people are engaging in the forge probably Yep, so I'm gonna try to finish off this guy. And he's using the sensor drone that is really bad because I actually can see you from outside. I really don't like that. And he can see me. Yep, I'm gonna die. This was a close one. He just needs to one shot me and I'm dead. One shot. I don't have my healing potion. I have healing potions, but it would take time, take time, so I'm just gonna let the fog try to finish off that guy. So if you know you cannot kill somebody, just leave it. Also, uh, do pay attention that I can change the weapon while I'm mounting. I just press one or two and you can see that it's highlighted. You can see the weapons right now, they are highlighted. We have a lot of charts, 90 charts, but even so, that's not the best. Uh, somebody actually did an epic weapon, a uh, legendary weapon, but actually came out the Sword of Zen. Okay, here comes the fog. Try to not stay outside of the fog because your armor will be damaged first. And if you do not have an armor, you're going to be losing your health. Biggest points of interest is actually the forge. So what I'm going to do is I want a weapon and I'll go for the legendary weapon. I don't even care. And I'll go for nothing else because I don't have anything else. What we're going to do here is I'm going to hide. Because I don't want to be flanked. Also, you can crouch. 
and you can just hide in a little spot. And when you see that little X, it means you if you shoot, you're gonna hit the wall instead of shooting where you wanna shoot. And no, you cannot go into first person, but you can only play in third person, unfortunately, at least for now. Uh, be careful because you cannot heal outside of the fog, by the way. But you can see like this if you guys want to. Okay, we saw somebody over there in that corner. Guy's probably gonna go down and then try to get here. Oh god, oh god, that guy saw me. At least I lit him up a little bit. You guy knows that I'm inside here. Also, be careful, cuz... Yeah, we lost. Is this guy gonna finish me off or what? Ah! Uh, very nice, the guy won. <laughs> we were so close. I didn't have any armors or etc. Only had a healing potion, he managed to kill me. He won the match. Somehow it still says I'm the rank 3. Maybe this is just some sort of bug. Um, but yeah guys, that's all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys understood everything. If you have any doubts about the game, uh, make sure to actually leave a comment down below and ask me what is wrong with it. Also, do not forget that if uh, in the Discord, in their Discord, they usually put the, the patch notes uh, link so you guys can go there. And also, sometimes you will, um, you'll see some notifications on the forums. They will put uh, like posts. Uh, teaching you guys of the things that you're just changing an update this week there's gonna be like a ton of updates maybe they're gonna be putting it permanently and just putting updates every single day until we have the perfect game as for now be careful because uh, the game is a little bit unbalanced and if you do not have the best items possible then you are pretty much dead if you have a sort of like a shotgun you can pretty much just kill somebody and as you see that this is actually bugged because I was almost here and it probably passed but we are still level zero. Probably you don't have levels. Levels. This does not. Uh, this is not important. Uh, focus on the game. See if there's bugs. If you find bugs, report them. Uh, if you have any questions, don't feel free to ask below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, do, do drop a like. This, the likes and dislikes are not for somehow making the video be better or etc. It's just for me to know if this actually helped you, so I can know if it's, I'm actually helping you guys or not with this video. Um, also, do not forget to subscribe. I'm going to be doing more videos on Realm Royale, Paladins, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, and so on. And if you guys enjoy that type of content, like funny videos or reviews, tutorials, and etc., that's the kind of content that I create. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, guys. My name is Creepers, and I'm signing out. I hope you, have, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, bye, guys.